All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to your 10 minute workout today. Okay, so we're on the floor starting today. Uh, not starting today, because we ain't gonna be on the floor every day, but we're on the floor today, and I wanted to go over some safety uh, things with you so you know. First of all, hopefully you could get slightly heavier dumbbells for yourself, um, because when you work your chest and you work your abs, you wanna have a little slightly heavier dumbbells. But watch me first for some important cues. If your dumbbells are to your side, I want you to kind of push your dumbbells down a little bit, and if you can, just rock them up down here, right? So, when I'm in this position, basically I push my arms into my ribs, so when I roll back, everything rolls together. The last thing you want to try and do is lift the dumbbell like this while your back is up, okay? But first, before we even begin, everybody lay on your back, let's start some... Uh, Knee tap abs, shoulders off the floor, and we're lifting up. Try to get those shoulders as high as you can off the floor. Again, you could go as slow as you need to go. Now, you all know we're used to uh, really kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? We usually stack movements, but today, because we're on the floor and I want you to be a little safer, we're gonna be doing individual movements. We're gonna go from chest, to abs, chest to abs, okay? So you guys can work through. You got about 28 more seconds here, and then we're gonna sit up and we're gonna do our, grab those dumbbells like I showed you the first time. You're gonna do your first uh, chest exercise. It's gonna be a basic movement, but you know Shanti, we always add something. Five more seconds here, and we're gonna get up and grab those dumbbells. Three, two, one. Get under your knees here before you roll up. Pull it in, remember how I said, ready? We're gonna roll back all together. Feet flat on the floor, shoulder blades on the floor. You're gonna press it up, but you're gonna twist the inside of your hands together. Make sure your head is down, your head doesn't need to be up. No need to strain your neck. Okay, because we're gonna go back to abs in about 40 seconds anyway. All right, we're pressing up. I might have to tilt my screen down so Alex can see you. Good job, Alex. <laughs> All right, keep going. Lifting it up, pushing it through. Nice and good. You guys are doing really great. You got here about 15 more seconds. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place the dumbbells down to your side very softly. And our next ab, ex our next ab exercise is going to be in plank position. Three, two, Come down, bring your elbows into your side, bring your feet up, and rock them all together. Place the dumbbells down. There you go. All right. Keep going. All right, everybody get in plank position. Get in plank position, everyone. Okay. Here we go. All we're doing, which we all know, is a plank with a knee tap forward and back. And I want you to go nice and slow. Now, because you already worked your chest a little bit, you're going to really feel it in your chest and your shoulders as well, okay? So make sure those abs are engaged. For me, you see, I got a pretty big booty, but I'm also rounding my back, and not rounding like arching my back. I'm really squeezing my core as I go through. 15 more seconds here, and we're going back to the dumbbell. But next time, you're only gonna grab one dumbbell as you go. Five, four, three, Two, come down, come back around. This time I want you to grab one dumbbell, which means you can bring both hands up, put the dumbbells, put the dumbbell in your hands here, and roll back nice and slow. Okay, make sure the dumbbell stays over your stomach, don't put it over your face. Bring your knees up at 90 degrees and you're doing a speed press, okay? So you're working your triceps, shoulders, chest, abs, back is on the floor, you're pushing through. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I have 45 pounds. You don't have to have that heavy because I'm fucking dying. Here we go and lift it up. So try to go as fast as possible. Lift it up and push through. Got about 20 seconds. If you see Scott right over here, look at the form. Feet aren't below the uh, knees. And if you look at Alex in the corner, she has her feet just slightly above the knees so you know she's not dropping it down. Four, three, Two, everybody just lift up a little bit to put your weight down. Put your weight down, come right back. 
Switch kick punching abs on the floor. Let's go. Come on. Lift it up. Excellent job. Stay in there. Stay committed with it and push through. Lifting up. Come on. Kick it out. Kick it out. Kick it out. If you see Elliot in the back, he has those long ass legs. <laughs> All right. Now with this, you can bring your shoulder slightly off the floor, but push your lower back into the floor, almost like, like as if you were to put a string into the floor through your belly button. That's going to help you really keep it engaged. And if you're like, this is hard as hell, all you're going to do is slowly bring it down. Take a deep breath, replenish the oxygen in your body, and then come back up. It's totally fine for you to take a break as many times as you need as you go through. All right, bring your knee, hands behind your knees, come up, turn over. This time, our right, chest exercise is gonna be eight counts down, eight count up, abs. Three, two, one, slow, arms wide, two, three, four, core tight, Six, chest, touch the ground, back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, back down, hit eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, chest, touch, back eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more rep, down eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, and back up, hit eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Turn over. This time, like I do on my max 30 workout, we have the L-shaped abs. Now what we're gonna do is front leg is down, back leg is high, everybody get in position, but I'm holding behind my knee because what I want you to do is walk up your leg. One, two, three, Four, back down, two, three, switch your legs, walk up, two, three, four, back down, two, three, and then switch, go, walk it up the leg, three, four, back down, two, and again, switch, one, two, doesn't matter what hand you start with, four, back down, again, pressing that lower back, to the floor, switch, one, two, walk up your leg, back down, other leg, so we finish evenly in one, two, this time you're gonna come back down, stay on your back, not stay on your back, lift up, but your chest workout's gonna be in the back, here we go, lift up, grab those dumbbells again, bring them inside, remember how we come back together, and here we go, we hit a push press. So now, your push press comes from your ribs. Before we did it with one dumbbell, now we do it with two. Back is on the floor. Feet are planted on the floor, pushing through. Feel it as you go up. You're doing an amazing job. Make sure you exhale during the work. With your head on the floor, back on the floor, butt on the floor, you stay in neutral spine, which helps you stay nice and safe, okay? Got about 15 more seconds here. How you doing, Alex? Killing it. <laughs> Alex is killing it. Checking in with Alex. 10 more seconds, y'all. Come on, come on. Push it through, push it through. In five, four, three, two. Bring the weight down. Here we go. Turn over. You're going to do basic floor splits. Here we go. Come on, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Push it through. Now become the trainer. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go, keep pushing through. Come on, getting that butt out the air, core stays tight. As you see, Alice is going super fast. <laughs> her vacation must have made her speedy legs. I see her going for it. On the count of three, I want you at home and everybody here to speed it up. Three, two, one, pick it up, go faster, come on. Come on, keep moving in there, excellent. You guys are doing such a great job. As you see, Sam, nice. Wide back, but keeping his hands at a, you can't see it from back there, but his hands are wide enough so that his back isn't sinking. Spreading out that base of support. 15 more seconds, and then we have our final exercise. You guys are doing great. Come on, push it through. You got it. I'm gonna give them five, four, three. You guys can take a quick break, and when you're ready, come on, we're just banging out the push-ups to the end. Come on, but what you're gonna do is eight push-ups, 
up top, then you put your knees down. Finish your eight push-ups at the bottom. Six, seven. Then you lift your knees off for eight, seven. So you got that? You're in control, okay? Eight push-ups up top, no knees. Eight push-ups with knees down. Now, if you gotta use your knees the whole time, that's perfectly fine. Just try to lift your knees when you come up top, just to add it, a little added pressure. Come on, guys. We got 30 seconds left. Push. There you go, come on. Almost there. Bang it up, bang it up. Come on, you're almost there, keep going. 15 seconds, what you got, what you got, what you got for me, come on. 10, nine, keep digging, eight, seven, almost there, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing job, everybody. Keep pushing every day. Dig Deeper Nation. Make sure you subscribe. Dig Deeper Nation will be open for one more week. So hopefully you can join. Peace out.